from Florida for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I want to thank the witnesses for being here today and Eric. attending what could be called the Oversight Committee hearing on the death of the free market. I mean, boy, how things have changed in the grand old party. I mean, it used to be about free markets, and it used to be about corporate freedom, and it and it used to be small government, and it used to be, you know, government out of businesses, government out of the bedroom. Boy, has that pendulum really swung here. I mean, we want, we want government everywhere. I mean, this is like corporate socialism, where we now want the government to tell people that they have to invest in certain companies, like we, individuals can't make the decision. I mean, it is, it is a wild sort of turn of events for the, for the grand old party. I mean, if Ronald Reagan was here and he was listening to people talk about, you know, that we need government to make sure that people have to invest in companies that, you know, make guns, uh, you know, he wouldn't even recognize you guys. But some of the witnesses, you know, when they were talking about ESG, they talked about uh, as if it was a, a deadly weapon that's going to destroy our country. You know, it, it's not you know, it's not a, a widely supported investment strategy used to minimize and maximize returns. One of that is shown to offer, you know, greater long-term resilience, lower risks due to factoring in all potential costs to society. But I want to focus on this deadly, this deadly weapon part. You know, uh, I'm from Parkland, uh, where the shooting was at my high school, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. So if you want clear clarity on what a deadly weapon is, I can assure you it's not ESG. It's a kid with an AR-15 and unlimited ammunition walking into my school and killing 17 people. So let's have a real sort of grip of reality of what investment strategy is or is not versus what a deadly weapon is. You know, after the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas School shooting, you know, Walmart, Dick Sporting Goods announced that they would stop selling assault rifles um, and you know, I've, I applauded them for doing that. And if I want to invest in a company because they've decided to make a policy change, I should have that ability to do so or not do so, by the way. I, I'm pretty sure I just saw, you know, some of my colleagues, sell, you know, going out and, you know, shooting Bud Light cans because, you know, they didn't like what Bud Light was doing. Do, should we have government mandate that they got to go invest in, in Bud Light because we want to support Bud Light? I mean, that's what, that's what you guys are advocating. Uh, I mean, I just, it's really kind of, it's really kind of crazy. And so, you know, I don't know what we're doing here, Mr. Chairman. Um, you know, I, this is part one. There's going to be a part two. I mean, part one was just so fascinating. I can't wait for, for part two. Um, but you know, this committee has not taken any action on gun violence. We want to talk about a deadly weapon. This committee has not looked at all into AR-15s or deadly weapons or school shootings or mass shootings. I mean, you, you, you think parents in this country care about ESG? No, they care about dropping their kid off at a movie theater or at a mall, uh, you know, or at school. Uh, they don't care about ESG. You know, th this is stuff that, like, 10% of Twitter cares about, okay? Uh, and so I just wanna know when we're gonna get serious here. And so, Mr. Chairman, I, I ask, when is this committee gonna have a hearing on gun violence? You weren't here last year, but all the hearings pertain to the Washington Commanders football team. They pertain to the Equal Rights Amendment they pertain to abortion. They didn't have a single hearing with a single Biden administration official. They didn't have a single hearing on any type of uh, anything relating to how tax dollars were being wasted by this administration. So uh, maybe you should take the lead in campaigning for your side of the aisle, and then if you all win the majority, then you can have hearings on the Washington Commanders football team again. No, I, I'm reclaiming my time, Mr. Chairman. You know, that's fine, I, I wasn't here, but you know, you're in charge now and mass shootings are completely out of control. And so you have the power to make the decision, decide whether we should have hearings on DC public urination or on mass shootings. You're the chairman, I'm just a, a lowly Democratic freshman. And so I implore that this committee start to look at mass shootings and the real weapons that are destroying people's lives, which are AR-15s. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.